Site Transfer Wizard is a unique feature of Akiba Backup Professional. With it, you can copy an entire website from one server to another without having to download anything to your own computer. This is particularly useful if you have a limited internet connection or the site is particularly large. To begin with, click on the Site Transfer Wizard. The Site Transfer Wizard requires its own backup profile. You can either create a new one from Akiba Backup's default settings, or if you've made some customizations, you can copy the settings from your existing default backup. I'm going to select the copy as I've already made some exclusions and click Next. We now have to set up the connection method from this server to your new server. There are three options, FTP, FTP over SSL and Secure File Transfer or SFFTP. You will know from your own web host which of these is available to you. I'm going to use the plain old FTP setting. First, I need to put in the host name, the FTP host name of my new server. I then need to enter the FTP username and password. And then the actual directory on the remote site that I'm going to install this website in. Now the path can be quite difficult to get exactly correct, so the easiest thing to do is to open your FTP program and copy it from there. I'm using FileZilla, but you could use any FTP program. When I've connected with my FTP, I can navigate to the site's root, in this case public HTML, and take a copy of the actual full path. I can then return to my website and paste it in there to ensure it is exactly correct. Finally, I need to enter the full URL of the new site. When all that's been entered, click Next and Akiba Backup will check that you have entered everything correctly. As we haven't received an error message, we know everything has been set up correctly and we can begin the site transfer. At this time, Akiba Backup Professional is making a backup of your current website and using the FTP details that you just gave it to transfer it to the new server. This may take some time, depending on the speed of the connection and the size of your website. But it's important to, for this to continue that you must leave this web page open. If at any time you think that the web process has died, all you need to do is check down here where it says last server response. And you can see that it's updating itself every second so that you know that the process is still continuing. Now that the site transfer has been completed, we need to complete the installation of our site on the new server. By clicking OK, the new site will load together with the Akiba Backup Installer that we've used before for restoring our sites. Click Next enter the database details on the new server. Next again, click OK once the database has been restored. Confirm that the site parameters haven't changed, click Next, and finally click to remove the installation directory. Once that's done, our site has now been transferred and is live on our new server.